CW4 Gary Linfoot joined the Army in 1987. He enlisted. In 1989, he went to Army flight training and accepted a commission as a warrant officer. In 1996, he assessed in to probably the world's most elite aviation unit, the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment. And there, he became a master of the skill of Army aviation, flying the AH-6, commonly known as the Little Bird. And it was about a year ago, this month, that he was on a mission just south of Baghdad, flying at night, as they're always called upon to do, under night vision goggles. He and his crew member were called to provide close fire support for U.S. service members that were coming under fire. And as they made their way out to the target area, uh, they went into a holding pattern, awaiting their clearance to go in to direct fire on the enemy. And it was at that time that his aircraft suffered a severe mechanical malfunction, resulting in the need to auto-rotate heavy at a low speed at night into the terrain of Iraq. With his mastery and skill, he was able to get the aircraft down. His co-pilot was able to walk away, but Gary was paralyzed below the waist. And when we first met Gary and had an opportunity to talk to him about an iBot, boy, there couldn't have been a better match. And I think you'll hear about that here in just the next few seconds. So, folks, if you would, a big round of applause for CW4 Gary Linfoot. And his wife Mary's back here. And, uh, Gary? It, it, it wasn't uh, long after making my way through uh, rehab at, at Walt Reed, uh, the VA in uh, Tampa, and the Shepherd Center in Atlanta, Georgia, that came to the realization that uh, life confined to a wheelchair uh, meant that certain doors were closed. Uh, just over six months ago, I became the, uh, the very fortunate recipient of, a, of an iBot wheelchair. And uh, suddenly, many of those doors were, uh, were reopened. Um, as you can see, I'm in an upright position. And until you've uh, been in a wheelchair and, and you've, uh, you've lost what you took for granted, being able to stand up and, and meet someone eye to eye and, uh, and, and talk to them, you don't know what you've lost. This, this chair, this device has is, is given me that, uh, that dignity back. Uh, I can stand up. I can I can meet you eye to eye. I can talk to you. Uh, another thing this uh, chair allows me to do uh, some of the simple facts or simple simple things that I used to do: uh, fiddle around the garage, reach up on the top shelf, uh, get an item uh, to work on my car. I can now do that again. I can also reach the uh, the good liquor up in the liquor cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you see a serviceman's service uh, brain churn as he's trying to figure out how to get to that liquor cabinet. Yeah, this makes it a lot easier. Thank you. Um, I, n not only this chair stands you up, but it has a four-wheel drive mode uh, where I can now go across unimproved terrain, uh, go across the lawn, uh, go across sand, dirt. Uh, another feature this, uh, this chair allows me to do is go upstairs. And it, you, you wouldn't believe how big an obstacle a six-inch curb or a six-inch step becomes until you're confined to a wheelchair. This thing now, those obstacles aren't so much of an obstacle. Now I can pop right up and go over them. I can go upstairs. I can go to a friend's house, and uh, I can now enter their house. I can get, get around in my own house. Uh, remarkable technology. Um, it is a... It is. I, I feel very fortunate to have it, and uh, and this chair, in my opinion, uh, is, is a great device. And it would be great if this kind of technology, this type of uh, equipment, uh, was available to to other people and continue to stay available to them. Um, I thank you. That's about all I have to say. Thank you.